Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on factors. Factors. A factor is a whole number that divides into another whole number with no remainder. That is, we say the factor divides into the other whole number evenly. Let's look at a few examples. 4 is a factor of 12 because it divides evenly into 12. That is, there is no remainder. So 4 into 12 goes 3. 4 3s are 12. No remainder. 5 is not a factor of 13 because it does not divide into it evenly. 5 into 13 goes twice with a remainder of 3. And your teachers will show you, if they haven't shown you already, how this answer can be expressed as 2 and 3 fifths. And because there's a fraction here, 5 does not divide into 13 evenly, so it's not a factor. Factors of a given number. The factors of a given whole number are all those whole numbers which divide into it evenly. Example 1. Write down all the factors of 12. Firstly, we know that 1 and 12 are factors of 12. Next, we find the other factors. The following is one good method. 12 equals 2 times 6, hence 2 and 6 are factors. 12 can also be written as 2 times 2 times 3, hence 3 is a factor. How we got that, that 2 there is the same as this 2, and see that 6 there, that's just 2 times 3. That helps us find 3 as a factor. 12 can also be written as 4 times 3. See those 2's there, that 2 and that 2, 2 2's are 4, that gives us that 4. And there's the 3 there, so 4 times 3 is also 12, that gives us 4 as a factor. So we've used all these little calculations here, and we've come up with 6 factors. Here they are, they are all the factors of 12. Example 2. Remember, for any given number, 1 and the number itself are always factors. Find all the factors of 24. Let's use this method, which follows on from the method we used in the first example. Now we know that 12 equals, sorry, that 24, we know that 24 equals 2 times 12. 2 times 12 equals 24, we know that. Another way of expressing that is 2 times 2 times 6 because that 2 there is the same as that one and this 12 can be expressed as 2 times 6. This here, what we have here, can also be written as 4 times 6 because you see that 2 and that 2 there? 2 twos are 4 and there's the 6, that 6 there is this one. So we can also write it as 4 times 6. Now, this second line here can also be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Because, see those 2 there, that 2 times 2, that's the same as those first 2, and 6 is 2 times 3. But that also can be expressed as 8 times 3, because 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 8. So, these are all the ways that we can express 24. And all these ways here, they help us to find the factors. So all the factors of 24 are these eight numbers here. There are eight of them all together. And if you check, if you go through all this working here, don't forget, we already know that 1 and 24 are factors. And this working here has helped us to find the other six. Example 3. Which of the following numbers have 3 as a factor? So we have 5 numbers here. Which one of them has 3 as a factor? Let's take the first one. 3 into 15 goes 5. Goes in there evenly. 3 fives are 15. The second one. 3 into 20 goes 6 with a remainder of 2. Of course 3 sixes are 18 with a remainder of 2. That can be written as 6 and 2 thirds. Let's look at the third one. 3 into 27 goes 9 evenly, because 3 9s are 27. The fourth one, 3 into 31 goes 10 with a remainder of 1, which can be written as 10 and 1 third. 
and the last one. 3 into 45 goes 15, because 3 times 15 is 45. Now, if you look at this one here, and this one, and this one, there are no remainders there. So, the numbers 15, 27, and 45 have 3 as a factor, because there were no remainders. Example 4. Find all the factors of 36. Here is a slightly different approach from the ones we used in the previous examples. A knowledge of times tables makes this approach very easy to use. Now, we're all very aware that 36 is 1 times 36. That's very straightforward. Let's go for the next number. So the next number above 1 is 2. So 36 is 2 times 18. That's quite straightforward. Let's try the next number. 36 is 3 times 12. The next one, 36 is 4 times 9. Now 5 doesn't work, because 5 doesn't divide into 36 evenly, but 6 works, because 36 is 6 times 6. Now if we keep going, the next one is 9, but we've already used it. The one after that is 12, that's already been used. The next one's 18, we've already used it, and the next one's 36. Hence, if we use all this working here, and take all the different numbers that we found, we can see that these are all the factors of 36, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them. There are 9 factors of 36. Example 5. Find the common factors of 16 and 20. That is, what numbers go into 16 evenly, and the same numbers go into 20 evenly? Let's look at 16. 16 can be expressed as 1 times 16, it can be expressed as 2 times 8, or it can be expressed as 4 times 4. So this will help us to find the factors of 16. 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Don't forget, 1 and 16 are always factors, and this working here helped us find the other three. The factors of 20. Now 20 is 1 times 20. It's also 2 times 10, and it's also 4 times 5. So all this working here helps us to find those factors there. So they're the factors of 16. They are the factors of 20. Now which ones are common? The common ones are the common factors. There's a 1 there, and a 1 here. A 2 there, and a 2 here. A 4 there, and a 4 here. So 1, 2 and 4 are the common factors.